How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about cutting calories but not losing fat. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. Keep in mind the personal training does cost a fee. Generally, the main reason why you're not losing weight is because you are eating too many calories and you are not in a caloric deficit. Most of you guys already know this though, yet how come when you step on the scale, you're not losing weight? I'm going to give you guys some reason why and how you can fix the problems. Most of you know about tracking calories and yes, calories in versus calories out is by far the most important tool for losing weight. But how many of you know that scale change can be affected by sodium, water, carbs, glycogen, and sleep. Glycogen is a substance deposited in your body as a storage of carbohydrates. It's polysaccharide, which forms glucose on hydrolysis, you guys. Here is a great example that I see often with clients. Let's say you weigh 200 pounds. You're eating 3,000 calories a day as your maintenance. You then start to eat 2,500 calories. Technically, you should lose one pound per week, right? Let's say one week goes by and you weigh yourself and you weigh 203 pounds. You're thinking in your head, damn, how? I restricted my calories and nothing happened. I gained weight. Wrong. Here's the thing about the scale. I can manipulate it in my favor or against me. What I mean by this, I can make myself weigh an extra six pounds or lose an extra six pounds in a course of a few days simply by either adding or restricting water, cutting or adding carbs, and adding or removing sodium. So what can you do to fix the scale change? Nothing, don't worry about it. Track your calories for two weeks before changing anything, but also track your sodium intake and your water intake. You should already be tracking your calories, protein, carbs, and fats. You should also be tracking everything in a notepad and tracking everything before bed. I will show you guys, um, like you gotta be very strict. I have been doing this for eight years, you guys. You should be tracking your calories, protein, fats, and sodium, fiber, water intake, blood pressure, how much you sleep. Track all of these factors and keep them the same day in and day out for the most part, and you will notice the scale will drop consistently. Also keep in mind peeing or bowel movements as well. This can affect the scale up to one to three pounds. Um, I will put a link in the description box to a tool that will help you cut calories. End of video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.